Ray, when we talk about analytics, what top trends do you see in 2020? So in the world of analytics by 2020, um, we used to think about, oh, we're going to need tons of data scientists. We have a shortage. It was on the covers of every single magazine. Big data, data scientists. Well, actually, what's going to shift is the fact that the visualization technology is going to make it a lot easier. We're actually going to have more drag and drop, our ability to actually access that information. That visualization layer is going to play a big role in, that, in terms of democratizing the availability of that analytics so that people can make better decisions. So the first part is, it's going to be data for the common person. And that means anybody can access that data, manipulate that data, share that data, and collaborate on that information. The second piece that's going to happen is that the way we use analytics and consume analytics is going to power a whole set of other insights. And those insights are going to be used to start feeding these artificial intelligence systems. What we're really talking about is augmenting humanity, augmenting decision making. And so democratizing that decisions are actually going to make it a lot easier for people to make suggestions. And those suggestions are going to help people automate those decisions over time. And then the third part with these analytics is the fact that we're actually able to start improving the way we get to correlation, right? Identifying those patterns and trends and actually doing testing real time. That gets us to a right time level of information, but more importantly, allows us to surface up live data so that people are successful. Ray, what do you think about boardroom of the future, dashboard of the future? Right now, boards are paper-based. They're trying to figure out information. The information they get is like months old, maybe weeks old, okay, at a good boardroom. Imagine if we flipped that upon and said, look, you now have access to live data. All this information stream is popping up. You can see exactly the metrics. You're walking into a meeting every month now with a lot more information. You can make better sets of decision, not on information that's 30 days, 60 days, even 90 days old. You now got the ability to make decisions on information that's been aggregated right there, right then. And, and that becomes very important. And so what we really need is the ability to take these platforms to deliver analytics so people actually democratize those decisions, share that, collaborate that, talk about it, model that information in the meeting to say, what if? How important is analytics in helping organizations understand, visualize, assess all the complex data coming out of their business processes as they try to make sense of all the data that they're now trying to uh, work with? Over the last four decades, we've accumulated a ton of transactional data. And that data volume is continuing to explode. Now, when we add IoT, machine learning, artificial intelligence, and all these concepts around big data, it's exploding, right? And so what we really need at this point is to figure out a way to take that information, analyze it, assess it, and figure out patterns so that we can actually make decisions and, and actually deliver information and insights right on the fly. Can you talk a little bit about the relationship of real time to right time to live data and live understanding of what's happening in the organization? People always talk about real time, right time, live data. Real time is getting the information right away. It looks like my Twitter feed. It's a mess, right? It's all popping up. It's your Facebook feed. It's like, hey, okay, how do I find something here? Right time applies the concept of context. So location, time, role, weather, all those things kind of play a role and it helps filter that information so it becomes more relevant. But we're actually moving to a point where people want live data, which is it's already thought through that process. It's surfacing it up exactly at that moment in time so that it's the right piece of information and insight you need to augment decisions. And that's why it's important to understand these concepts because it's more than real time you want. You definitely want a level right time. But today, because we're moving so fast, we're hyper-connected, we need live data. Isn't it important when we think about live data or data decision-making going on within the organization, innovation taking place within the organization, that this is not happening in some ivory tower in that organization. It's happening everywhere. Everyone is taking place in these business processes. Everyone is getting access to insight, and everyone has the opportunity to constantly innovate. So that sort of democratization of insight, and innovation is critical for organizations to really drive change. In the past, we've centralized innovation into small silos where people go off and study it, and then they try to push it out through the organization. That doesn't work anymore. We're in a very social collaborative world, and what happens is we're decentralizing that level. We're democratizing the decision making, and when that occurs, what we want to be able to do is allow people to jump in, iterate, publish, share, right? and then look at it again, and then create brand new models. And that's what's happening. We're looking at faster and faster uh, cycles of innovation, faster and faster cycles of iteration. And think about the cloud. The cloud is unlimited access to compute power, unlimited access to storage. I'm crunching information super fast. I can't possibly do this without the cloud. 
Now, where does my existing data warehouse, my existing data stores, my existing you know, ERP systems go? They don't go away. You're basically just accessing that and then orchestrating from there. So a lot of the challenge with what we're trying to do is take structured, unstructured data, bring it together. Right? The other piece that we're trying to do is democratize decision making. But the last piece that's important when we talk about analytics is we're ultimately trying to get to precision decisions. Those precision decisions allow us to surface up just enough information at that point in time, which is close to situational awareness, but just enough information at that right point in time so that we can move to the next action. Right? And that's why we've got to get to precision decisions.